one, two, three. Welcome to the Western Carolina Sailing Club YouTube channel. How do I attach my mooring pennant? Uh, after you've contacted the mooring administrator and they've assigned, he's assigned you a mooring, you want to get your mooring pennant, and that is on the work barge in a barrel. Just open the barrel up and pull out your pennant. There's short ones and there's long ones. The mooring pennants are kept in the barrel on the barge. Just open the barrel up. Get out your pennant setup and take it with you on your boat. Got it? Are we good? So grab the mooring and then attach the swivel. Go down this way so you can get it around that. There you go. Okay, I got it. Okay, hold it. and just bring it up short so that you can work on it. Out of the bag, take the mooring pennant out of the bag. You'll find the Prusik knot about midway, an eye on one end and a tight thimble on the other. You're gonna attach the tight thimble to the upper side of the stainless steel swivel. Remove this, the pin. Be very careful not to drop the pin. Place the thimble in the swivel and tighten the pin. There sometimes is a piece of safety wire on the pin. You can take that off. You'll lose, use that in a minute. Tighten the pin as tight as you can get with a normal pair of pliers or adjustable wrench. Now you add your safety wire to the pin. can use your pliers to tighten the safety wire. Tighten it enough to hold the pin in place if it does loosen up, but not too tight that you break the safety wire. And the ears, you, the end of the safety wire, you can just push away or trim off as you need to. Now the pennant is secured to the mooring and you're ready to tie it off to your boat. Okay. Uh, once you have the pennant connected to the swivel, you want to drop the chain back down into the ball and pull your temporary line out. Now we'll secure it to the bits on the front of your boat. Okay, some boats have cleats up on the bow. This boat happens to have chocks and a cleat on deck. So we'll run through a chock and get the Prusik knot adjusted properly. I'll attach the heavy three quarter inch to the deck cleat and then adjust the Prusik knot properly. This is the most important step. The Prusik knot should be down low enough on the heavy pennant so that you can shorten the small line and create slack in the big line. The tension should always on the small line unless the wind is extremely strong and then maybe the heavier line would take up the tension. This way all of the chafe is on the small line which is very easy 
and inexpensive to replace and it provides more spring. What you see there is approximately the right adjustment. Now I'll show you a few ways that are incorrect. Having the thin line loose and the fat line tight is incorrect. You want the thin line tight. Another common mistake is to place the Prusik way up high. And in this configuration, especially if the cleat is at the bow, there's no stretch in the thin line. So that would not be correct either. Another common mistake is to run the Prusik down too low. And in that case, We'll give the boat just a moment to float forward. It makes a too big of a noose. And you can see how the noose is now approaching the water level. And when there's no wind, the boat can float up on the ball and the noose can trap the ball and the noose then gets wrapped around the chain under the ball. That line will then chafe through on that rough chain very, very rapidly. So that's another common mistake. So now we'll go back to the correct setup. You want the Prusik as far down as you can. I think we can go even further here. And then you're going to take up some slack so that you create a small noose here, take up slack on the thin line so that it creates slack on the fat line, but not so much that that can create a noose and go underneath the mooring ball. That would be approximately the right setup for this boat. As I said, some boats have cleats up on the bow, one on each side. You could tie to one cleat, you could tie to one on each side, but the specifics of it may vary somewhat depending on the style of cleats and where they're placed and also what types of chafe you might encounter. So the last thing you would do is add chafing gear here anywhere where it would rub, potentially here or on that wire or other fittings that your boat may have. Chafing gear is very important and place enough of it on there so that it wears away rather than the line. Lastly, when you're on a mooring, use your boat often and check your pennants every time for chafe or adjustment. Following these steps, you should have a trouble-free experience on moorings at Western Carolina Sailing Club.